everybody welcome to another show jim hall you ought to know and we got the entire family out here today take a look at this we've got mother mary right down there there's jody right here caden you see him on a lot of the shows and you'll see him he's got some favorites in this one not yet not yet and we got chris right here our producer from the show and uh well the whole family's out here because we're going to experience retro type candy well all types of candy and we're at the candy crate in hesperia that's where we are today hesperia carol california and we're going to try well i even talked about one called lickamade candy and you found it back there how about beeman's chewing gum do you remember that we've got some other goodies we're going to find out about all here at the candy crate in hesperia check our website www.odysseytv.org better yet stick around for this show it's all about candy simply because are you ready you gonna experience the candy? You oughta know. Don't go anywhere, everybody. We'll be right back with candy. Jim Hall, you oughta know. And Randy, first off, introduce yourself. I'm Randy Caprilli from Candy Crate. Well, wait a minute. That sounds like an Italian candy. <laughs> the name, uh, last name is married Italian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, look what I'm holding here first off. I got to tell you, I was just smelling this. This is Beeman's chewing gum. Here's clove, and I can actually smell the clove. And blackjack, I remember from way back when, and it. It's a licorice. Yeah, like licorice. almost like chewing black licorice, right? Yes, and the Beeman's uh, traditionally was made with pepsin. Okay. And in recent years, they've had to take that out due to controversy and if it's uh, appropriate for people or not. But this particular company stops production every few years, and they just brought it back. About two weeks ago, we got it in our warehouse here. Beeman's is back, so you have and some boxes of this. All right. Correct. Actually, we have a producer here on the show back here behind the camera. Did you want Beeman's? We're going to get some Beeman's, clove, blackjack. Uh, but those have distinct flavors. Now, we're talking about retro-type candies, yes. right? Yes, we are. Now, the candy crate, first off, let's talk about candy crate has been in Hesperia how long? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. So you're in what location? We are in Hesperia uh, on the Mesa side off Lemon and E. And we've been at this location for about a year and a half. Just opened our doors to the uh, public about six months ago. Yeah, now how's that been for the public? Uh, has people, have they actually been finding you here? Because I think once we do the show, probably there's going to be a little bit more word. We didn't know that was there. Yeah, yeah, we're hearing that a lot. A lot of locals are excited to find out about us. Um, didn't know we're here, kind of an industrial area, and uh, but we're getting the word out there, trying to let more people know we're here and let them know to use us for all their events. So. Now, you open to the public for what reason? Why did you make that decision to open to the public? We had a lot of requests. When, once locals found out we had a warehouse here, uh, they asked if they could come in, and truly it wasn't safe enough to have them walking through our warehouse. So we've created uh, just a small version of our warehouse so they can walk through, get the feel, and purchase on their own. Yeah, we're going to see some of that. In fact, you can see kind of in the store here, if you look around, uh, we've got things on the on the shelf. I see ring pops back there, a hot dog back there, uh, pop drops. Now, we're talking about things that go from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yes, we actually have uh, items back to the 1800s as well. Uh, manufacturers still making it, same ingredients, same production equipment. Like so. what? Give me something from uh, the 1800s. Our black, uh, blackjack sticks, actually, or molasses candy, or there's a Gibraltar's. Um, and then, believe it or not, uh, Tootsie and Double Mint Gums back to the 1800s as well. So okay, there's a lot so of items. You talk about some of the trivial items. Now, Tootsie Roll actually goes, or the Tootsie Roll products go back to when? The early 1900s? Um, I believe it was 1890s, so late 1800s. All right, yeah. Now, there's a lot of trivia that goes with candy. I checked your website. You have a website, and there's some yeah. trivia there that people are into candy oh, things. Yeah. You can find out, uh, for instance, sugar. 
when you talk about sugars. There's some information up there about sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a myth between the sugar and uh, giving the hype to the children. They say that is a myth, not to believe it, but. You can give the kids <laughs> sugar, everybody. Come on down. All right, Candy Crate has a website, so what is that website? www.candycrate.com. That's easy. Okay. We've got that on the screen for you as well, candycrate.com, so it's easy to find. Do you have a phone number people can call if they have information? Yes. Um, our local number is 760-949-0467. Anybody else can reach our toll-free at 866-4CANDY-9. 4CANDY-9. Okay. Well, that's real easy, too. So you make it real simple for people to find. And, uh, of course, now I walked through where the customers are going to be able to get yes. to. And I saw some items in there that go back. You have candy, but you also have, I have a little fellow that's with me. My grandson is here, and you have some early kids' toys or some early woodblock-type toys and different, different things here, too. Yes. Those actually, we still try to stick with the retro feel on those, um, things that you or I would remember when we are younger, um, the real basic wooden nostalgic toys that came out. We try to offer those, too. So. Now, people, do they ever stump you? Do you have this, or I remember this? Or? Yes, all the time. Uh, fortunately, we're able to answer most of their questions. Uh, find out for them if it's been discontinued, if it's here, or it might even been changed into something a little bit different. How did the candy crate get started? If you've been in business eight years, who decided to do this and why? Uh, my parents, actually, uh, opened the business uh, to honestly give uh, my mother and grandmother some fun. <laughs> and they started in the gift making and realized customers wanted the retro and asked and uh, did my dad did a lot of research on finding all the information and realized there was a niche there and people wanted it. So. And that niche has grown, has it yes, not? Yes, it has definitely grown. We are now one of the largest uh, retro candy and gift distributors online. All right, well, I'm going to lay this down just for a second here because back here, here's an idea, uh, just one of the simple things, but they... Yeah. The old happy face or have a, ha, have a great day or whatever it is, be smile and be happy. Uh, you can get that sort of thing. Of course. Um, our most popular one, if you look behind you. Yep. Come on over our, here. Uh, retro candy gift box. You can select anywhere. Like this? From, correct. Okay. Anywhere from 1940s up to the 90s. Okay. And what would be in a 1940s box? Uh, over 50 pieces of candy. Um, all what was popular or invented in the 40s. 50s, same thing? Same thing, and up, and it's all pertaining to that particular decade. And what happens when somebody opens a box from the 1950s, the 1960s, and they look in there or they get a piece of that candy, what, what happens to them immediately? Memories. Yeah. It just it hits a spot. They remember going down to that corner shop or begging mom for you know a nickel and filling up their pockets with the candy. So it's a great memory for People really have well, that is what it is all about because it brings back those memories. We're going to bring back some memories for you here when we continue on. We're at the Candy Crate. Lemon and E is the area we're in in Hesperia, California. If you need more information, you can go to the website, candycrate.com, or check us out on our website at odysseytv.org. We're here simply because, like with every show, it's the good stuff, the sweet stuff. Right, Randy? Right. And because you ought to know. Don't go anywhere, everybody. I've got the little guy, and we're going out shopping here in the market area in just a few minutes for some of that retro candy. Stay with us. Everybody, Jim Hall, you ought to know. The entire family's out here. Caden's around here somewhere doing some shopping. Mary's out there. Jody's out there. Chris, our executive producer, back there. And then Ryan... Got to say congratulations to Ryan Combs graduating from high school this year. Actually, today was a yearbook party for him. He's missing it to be at this show. He'd oh, rather be you. here with the candy, I think. And Randy, introduce yourself again. My name is Randy with Candy Crate. And candycrate.com. It doesn't get any easier than that. No. So people can go to the website <laughs> and find out about all the retro style candy. Now, we're, we're standing in an area where you mentioned all this is bulk candy. This is all of our five, uh, five to ten pound bags of candy. So. Vending machines, pinatas, whatever it may be for your weddings, it's here. Now, we're in the area that is uh, considered open to the public. You yes. saw us in the beginning, first segment, we were actually out in what we consider, I consider, where the, you would check out, actually. There's a counter there, and a p couple people can always take your order, t take your money, do whatever it is. But this is an area where people can come in and shop in this area. That's correct. Everything should be here uh, in the departments that they need to be, the pricing, and all the items should be here answer their questions. Now, how do you categorize everything? How are we seeing it here on the shelves right at this point? I see gums kind of all together yeah. and that sort of thing. Is that what you're doing? We do try to keep the items together, just make it easier for the customer. 
all of our bulks on this side, and then we have our gum, our lollipops, uh, chocolate, all that we try to keep together just to make it a little easier for the shopping experience. Now, what about pricing? People will want to know about pricing. Are you competitive better than the average place where you can go find the candies? Is it a little more expensive because of what you're carrying? What is it? Um, we are definitely competitive. As far as CandyCreek.com, a uh, little benefit to the locals coming in here, these prices here are 30% lower than our prices online. Um, so they're already getting 30% local discount on top of um, our already competitive prices online. Just by coming into the store? Correct, yes. Okay, well the retail outlet is here, what I call an outlet. It's not an outlet, but it is. it certainly right. provides, you can take it out the door and take it with you, right? That's right. All right, look at this, what I've just looked over. <laughs> Fear Factor, remember the TV show Fear Factor? Yes. What do we got in there? Uh, there's some gummy eyes, we got a brain, I think there's even a octopus and a little... Uh, some bugs and feet in there. <laughs> All right. This is your brain, and this is your brain as candy. Remember that? Uh, so fear factor. Okay. I got to ask. There it is. Yep. Yeah. So this is larvettes. There's crickets. And it is all edible. We've got our sweet tart gum bugs for the little ones, and then the braver souls will try the real thing. Yep. And look here. Here it is. Wormy dirt. And there is the, what is that? That's just a gummy worm in there with a cookie type crumble for the dirt. All right. <laughs> um, I've got to throw one of these in somewhere along the way. We're going to do that. We're, I actually, I'm going to do some shopping here today. So we're going to have some of that in the studio. You'll see us partaking of some of these things. Sweet tarts down there. I remember sweet tarts now, but you've got other things with there. Sweet tarts, shockers, nerds, some of the popular Wonka items, and they come with a game in that package. All right. Now, I remember from the 1950s, uh, Lickamade. Lickamade. Fun dip. It's called something else. Yes. Um, Lickamate is in the little corner now. Fun Dip took precedence over that. Uh, but it is the, the Fun Dip still around, still doing good. <laughs> All right. Fun Dip is you take a little thing, you lick it, and put it down in the yep, bag. In the powder. We used to have to pour the powder on our hands. And, <laughs> of course, our hands were all different colors at the end of the day. And, uh, of course, Lickamate at that time was a penny a pack. I can remember that because we turned the bottles in to get the penny a pack and head down to the corner market, as you mentioned, yes. a lot of corner markets. Is that still prevalent? Is there corner markets selling a lot of this stuff? We do. We have a lot of um, a lot of back east in Nevada, local areas, even down by the beach, that purchase and resell our items there. Yeah, now you sell, though, literally around the world. We do. Uh, we ship everywhere, a lot of military dresses internationally, uh, or to right down the street if need be. Well, I guess this brings back a lot of memories for the folks in the military. I mean, when you look at this, now we talked about this. these are items bagged, five 10-pound bags in bulk, again, Correct. that can go to uh, groups, organizations. Yeah. I would imagine, do you get a lot of groups or organizations come in here for their local fundraisers or what have you? Uh, we're starting to. More that people know about us, they are using us uh, for their events, gatherings, parties. A lot of weddings are coming in for their candy bars. All right, let's go down the next area. A lot of gummy, I mean, a lot of the Jelly Belly items are yeah. here. Now, I'm a Jelly Belly fan, so what do we have here? The Gourmet Jelly Bean Jelly Belly. Uh, we've done some of the most popular ones here. However, we can get anything that a customer requests from Jelly Belly. Uh, but we have all the popular items and gift sets here for them. And I see you've got them in individual flavors. You have them in gift flavors. You have them in the populars, uh, the sweets, the tarts, the uh, whatever they may be, fruit types and, and what have you. And they break down a lot of different ways. Now, Jelly Belly, that's a brand that has been around for a number of years, actually. But they have gone uh, kind of international, too, by a lot of the different flavors. There's coffee flavors. There's the fruit flavors. Oh, yes. uh, so. And then most recently, they're doing their Bean Boozled, which is... Uh, more of, uh, I guess, disgusting flavors for the kids. All right. I see another one that I remember from way back, Mallow mm -hmm. Cups. Now, Mallow Cups is a, a milk chocolate. Milk chocolate with the marshmallow cream inside. Yeah, now they get really rich to me. I can remember, at least I used to kind of get sick from a few oh, of yeah. them. But. Yes, and it's uh, similar to the Cup of Gold. I don't know if you remember that, but they're I very do. similar. Cup of gold. Sure. A lot of customers come in for both of those. So. Now, these are both popular to me out of the 50s and 60s. Give me something that's really popular today that is kind of like these. Ooh, like that? Not Reese's peanut butter. No, that would be the only type of cup, really, that's yeah. nowadays. That's what yeah. I compare it to. So I try and think back. Mounds bars, milk duds. A lot of milk duds still out there. Popular treat at the movies. Oh, yeah. and with peanuts and plain. And one thing I didn't know, it's on your website again, going back to trivia, 
the temperature, the melting temperature for chocolate is just below the human body temperature, right? Mm, that's correct. That's why it melts in your mouth. Very sensitive right now. Okay. Well, it will melt in your hand as well. Yes. We're here at the Candy Crate. We're uh, lim a Lemonade E, again, in Hesperia, easy to find. Website, Randy, again, is candycrate.com. That's right. Is there any tricks to it? It's just C-A-N-D-Y-C-R-A-T-E. Correct, dot com. It'll take you there. All right, don't go anywhere, everybody. We've got more candy to experiment with. In fact, you're going to see what it's like shipping here at the Candy Crate. They ship all over the world. In fact, you can reach us and see us all over the world. Tell your friends and family. They can watch us live streaming on the Internet at www.odysseytv.org. And you can actually come right here and do your shopping. Get some of this candy right here, just like I'm going to do today at Candy Crate here, Lemon and E in Hesperia, simply because we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. You ought to know. Stay with us. Jim Hall, you ought to know, and I'm with Randy here, the manager. Yes, correct. Owner? Operations manager. Operations manager. Owner. All right, soon to be <laughs> owner. Mom and dad own the store. Grandmother still working here? No, she's not. Okay, but we've got the family involved. It's a family, very much a family business. Very family oriented. All right. And this is the place where you get all those specialty candies. Well, not really, because you can get almost anything here. In fact, retro candies all the way back to the 1800s? 1800s, that's right. I, you've got to show me that. We're going to do that for the closing of the show. But look what I've got here. This is a Mexican-type candy. Yes, we have a lot of the Mexican-type candies um, due to popular demand. And they come here all the chili and mango, all that kind of stuff we got. Back. Very popular. So you have a whole section back here. I'm going to lay that right here for the moment. Take a look at this, everybody. What is that, Randy? These are our uh, Haribo gummy colas. Very popular. The Haribo brand everybody's familiar with. And those are doing well, part of our bulk area. All right, well, that's going in my shopping cart today. <laughs> Mary's got that. We're going to move on. Look at this. This is a whole sugar-free section, you said, down in this area. Yes, sugar-free is uh, very popular here, and the locals, a lot of requests for it. And we've built our sugar-free section as much as we can, and still growing. So sugar-free and candy is conducive. They do it mix. It is. I don't know how, but it does. <laughs> they make it work. Well, I know my wife looks for all the sugar-free type stuff, so she can get that here. There's Jelly Bellies included. I mentioned those earlier on. Sugar-free cinnamons, licorice. Uh, there's all kinds of. Are the is the York patties? Are they sugar-free? Yes, they are. Uh, we've our buyers done a great job finding some of the retro candy that is now made sugar-free for the people that want the memory but just can't, you know. Now you mentioned yes. buyers. Let's talk about buyers. How many people are working in this? to keep this whole thing going? Uh, at this time, we have 12 employees. Two are buyers that uh, look for what the trend is and find the new items and get it here for Are them. there hot trends out there for, as far as candy? Sour is very hot right now. Sour. Yeah, the sour items are taking off. So. Well, I know I'm a sour watermelon fan. Even the gummy stuff I'll go if it's got the mm -hmm. real powdery sour sugar on it. We do have those. We just got that in the gummy. Uh, it's hard for us with the sour. It's not our, not in the retro niche. Um, a lot of the old time sour stuff is not as sour as the kids want it these days. But we're we're growing it. Well, what's the hot retro items out of the 50s and 60s in particular? Because I'm going to guess that's the age group right now that's buying that stuff. What's the hot stuff? We talked about Beeman's. Uh, I saw some tea berry gum back there with the blackjack. What else? Our wax lips, wax bottles are very popular. Although, impolitically correct, the candy cigarettes and bubblegum cigarettes do great. Um, the Zots, I'm not sure if you remember that. Oh, yeah. Those are those are doing real well. So. Well, I see right here you've got the uh, Nico wafers, yes. right? Neko wafers. Neko wafers. Yes. And those were real popular then. And you mentioned the, the uh, wax lips. Those were always popular. Mm -hmm. Now, they still have the same ingredients in them? Because we used to take those things and wear them and then chew them and then... <laughs> they do. Like, We've got that, the fangs, and now the mustache just came back. <laughs> okay, so the mustache is back out there. You can do that. Now take a look over here. Randy, come on over here and describe what we've got right in here because you're, uh, I t mentioned the toys early on. Yes, this is our toy section. Right here we have the giant Pez. Uh, little twist on the retro item a lot for the collectors now, but it actually dispenses the entire roll for your mini dispensers. Okay, so that's a little bit different, but I guess uh, these are hot items? They are. They're great for the collector. Uh, we see a lot of it through the holidays, too. Now, Star Trek just came out. The new movie's out, and we, uh, we've we got some Star Trek down here. Now, these have uh, come some of the original characters from Star Trek, though. Oh, yeah. They try to do that. The reason we went with that is, again, the retro theme there. So 
popular items, I guess, again. Star Wars stuff is hot. And then we've got a lot of the Disney stuff here. A lot of Disney. Disney always does great. Worldwide, it does great. So. All right. And then you've got, let's move right on down because you've got some of the wooden toys. And I talk about those. Caden's back here shopping somewhere. Where's he at? Bring him over here. Here comes Caden. And he's going to be getting some wood something today. So we're going to go down in here. What's the popular wood item for the youngsters? Most popular would be the uh, pounding box there, the Ooh. pound and roll. Why did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> it was great for the parents' ears, right? All right. Well, the parents actually did see something. In fact, you had the Snoopy snow corn right there. Mm -hmm. Do you still have it? Nope. <laughs> okay, it died a death somewhere along the way. A lot of people save their stuff, right? Yeah. So we actually lost that and just got it for the kids this last Christmas. More, I think, for a, a parental <laughs> reason. Right. Well, that's there. What's another hot item that's out of the retro pack of toys? Um, the Slinky items, Slinky Dogs, Slinky Original, and the Slinky Eyes do really well. Okay. Well, those are all items. Uh, do you remember the theme song? I don't. You don't remember? It's Slinky, it's Slinky. Okay. A <laughs> little bit of that. We've got some other goodies here. We've even got some Christmas things. Tiddlywinks. Are those popular? Tiddlywinks. They are. They're very popular online. People are actually searching for that. So. I'll be darned. Okay, well, a little bit of everything. <laughs> i got to talk about some of the gift packs that you do here again because we teased that a little bit. You do the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. I, I would imagine if somebody came up with an idea, you'd try and come up with the gift pack. Oh, yes. We can definitely customize here. That's the benefit of having the store here. We can work with the customer a little more, get them what they want, uh, what they don't want in there, and make it up right for them. A little candy for everybody. Got to talk about the hot sauces you've got. This is some of our gourmet line um, featured on Amazon.com. And it's some, a lot of the hot sauces, uh, hot cocos, and just some of those other gourmet items that people are looking for in their gift items and gift giving. And you ship. You do it all right here from the warehouse, 10,000 square feet. And you can, if you don't have it, you'll try and find it. That's right. We can get it. Hopefully within a week we can get it for you. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're here. Candy Crate is where we are. Lemon and E, Hesperia, California. Go to online if you're one of the internet type people. It's candycrate.com. If not, you can dial the phone number. It is 866-4CANDY-9. 4CANDY-9. That's all you have to remember. All right, everybody, we're going to be right back to wrap it up simply because, like with every show, great candy, great stuff, and you ought to know. Stay with us. We'll be right back. That's going to put the wraps on another show. Sadfully, it's going to put the wraps on another show. Here at Candy Crate, Lemon and E in Hesperia, California. Going to get right to it. Randy, you're holding a couple things from the 1800s. What are they? Blackjacks and Gibraltars. Company started in 1806. Still produces the same And way. Gibraltars is? It is a uh, hard type candy similar to the Blackjacks made with just a couple simple ingredients. All right. Sin Sin, I remember that one. That's actually a breathtaking mate. Used um, 1890. It originated for the singers and drinkers and everybody just to cover up their breath. On yeah, a little secret there. There's the old uh, licorice, old fashioned in a bag, and you got licorice flavored, you got watermelon, you got root beer, whorehound. Yes, assorted lemon. We have them all. <laughs> and Caden, he's got the Tootsie Rolls there. Chris, you picked up some stuff. Is that what you're after today? Yeah, that's what I'm after. All right, he's got the uh, Fun Dip, what I call the Lickamade, and the Beeman's Chewing Gum. And you can get all that here, Candy Crate, Lemon and Ian Hesperia. Go to candycrate.com for more information. Caden, are you having a great time? We certainly did and hope you did, and you'll come see the folks here at Candy Crate. Randy, you're here all the time? I'm here. Do you ever go home? Only at night. <laughs> Back to the shipping department. A lot more shipping to do, a lot of gift packs going out. Simply because, everybody, we're here because you ought to know. We'll see you next time. Check out the website. <laughs> <laughs>